Hello engineers, this is Daniel from Structure Engineering World. This is the second video in our course. Today we will analyze a simply supported beam under a distributed load in Autodesk robot. Uh, as you can see it here, uh, the beam is simply supported, so it's uh, there is a pin support from the left side and there is a roller support from the right side the length of the beam is six meters and there is a distributed load applied on it and the magnitude of that distributed load is 15 kilonewton per meter it's clear that this is a uniformly distributed load in the next video we will talk about non-uniformly distributed load I will start the analysis but before that I want to tell you that uh, if you want to see more videos related to structure engineering it will be good to subscribe our channel and like the video to see our future video let's start the analysis Let's open the software. We have a lot of options here. And uh, in our case, we have a 2D structure. So we will use this one, frame 2D design. This is the interface of robot software. Uh, we talked about that uh, in the previous class, if you want to see that video you can find it in the channel and also I put the link of the first video in of this course in the description below to start our uh, work uh, we can go to this list and click on notes to draw our bar okay uh, again you have to be careful about the units as you can see here we have feet we want to change it to metric system to change the unit in robot to metric system simply click below in this corner the right corner you have uh, this part which is written feet keeps and degree click on them and you will have this window in this window simply click on the first option which is units and format and click on metric when you click on metric it will give you this window click yes now click ok and as you can see here it's meter and here it's written meter kilonewton and degree in case you want to use newton for example you can again click here and you can change the dime the units here so click on force and here you can change from kilogram to you know Newton uh, or anything that you want okay so usually I like to start from the center point of the, the this worksheet which is zero zero you can see the coordinate here you can draw the node by clicking somewhere or you can enter the coordinate system for example zero comma zero and enter add and you can see that we have our first knot to add the second knot we have to check our drawing again so this is the first knot which is zero zero the second knot will be a uh, six zero so it will be you know the length is six meter so it should be six meter uh, in x axis or in the horizontal axis so this is five right five zero and this is six zero as you can see so click here and you will have your second knot now we are done with the drawing of the knot we will go to uh, to the to draw the element which is a beam to draw the element I will go back uh, or I will stay here or you can go back to start it's up to you 
you can click on this member here because our drawing or our beam is a uh, uh, only a line but in case you have complicated geometry you can use this part here click on geometry and you can create column beam walls and here you can create arch circle rectangle cube or cylinder but in our case we have a simple line so I will just click here this icon let me draw a simple line so we can choose anything here but I, I like to keep it on simple member so it will be only a line without any properties so we can th we can enter the starting coordinate and the ending coordinate here or we can choose it from the the interface so we want our beam to start here to the second node which is six zero click here and as we can see we are done with our element let's go to go back to start to see our outline usually when you want to work in uh, complicated geometries you need to use the outline this part here and it's visible under the start okay now we can see here uh, we have our element and we have our two node next step is to go to supports in support uh, as we can see here we have simply supported beam so pin and roller it's clear I think so let's add a pin here and let's add a roller in this side okay so now we are done with the supports and let's go to load okay in load usually we have two step step one is to define a lot step two is to apply the lot what do I mean by defining lot I mean you will define live lot dead lot or snow lot or wind lot or any other type of lot next step is applying the lot so for example in dead lot you have three types of dead lot let's say we have self weight of the beam we have uh, a distributed load and a concentrated load so here we can apply three types of loads under the dead load definition it's important to know that in robot the software calculate the self weight of the beam or the structure by default because it's by default choosing a material property for the beam in our case we will delete the so the self weight of the structure because we don't need it let's start defining the loads so first we need to uh, our load is dead load so we will choose dead load we can rename the load here but I prefer to keep it like that I will click on add and here we have uh, one type of load which is dead load and the name is dead DL1 as we can see it here in our list we have uh, applied a lot and it's done automatically as you can see here it's written lot type self weight so the software applied a self weight lot on the system so we don't need this one I will delete it click on this part like that and in the keyboard on the keyboard click delete now there is no load applied on our system we will go to this part load uh, here to apply the load in the previous video we applied a concentrated load so we use it this one in today's video we will apply a, a distributed load so we have to use member and then we can use uniform load it's written as you can see it here uniform load click on uniform load and you have three places to add 
to apply loads. Uh, mainly the, the, they are the axis. So X axis, it means uh, you will add a value here or a number here when you want to apply a horizontal load or force. In case you want to apply a vertical load, you will add uh, a number or you will add the force in Z direction, vertical direction. So as we can see in robot, the vertical direction is Z. In case you want to apply moment, so in 2D, moment can be about Y direction. So we can apply it here. Okay. So to apply our load, we have a vertical distributed load and the magnitude of the load is 15 kilonewton per meter. You can see the unit here. Be careful about the unit. We need to add minus 15. Why? Because our load is in the opposite direction of the Z arrow here. In case you have complicated or curved beam you can use local uh, system or local coordinate we will talk about that in the future videos i will click on add and now we have to select the member that we want to apply the load on i will click here okay i now i can click on apply so when you click on apply you will see the load be careful here uh, always check the list of the load as you can see you can see the load here in the list the applied load it's written uniform load and this is the id of the load and we can see it's in the z direction and the magnitude of the load is 15 kilonewton per meter so this is the steps and we are almost done we can click on calculation but before that let's check our system again so the beam is simply supported the load is applied and everything looks okay so let's calculate the calculation is done now let's go to this part which is result in result I prefer to go to detail analysis you can choose any other one for example this one it will still show you the results okay when I go to this part detailed analysis um, I can see the uh, horizontal forces and vertical forces and moment so shear, normal, and moment. Uh, so we we are interested in moment and shear forces or the vertical forces. I will check them and I will apply. And we can see the shear and bending moment diagram. We can go to this part and go to parameter and click on label and click on apply to see the value or the magnitude of the shear force and bending moment forces as we can see here uh, in the drawing so the maximum or the shear force is 45 the maximum value and the maximum value of bending moment is 67.5 and we can see it's in the center of the beam which should be there here you can see more information about the the analysis and as we said before in the previous video you can go to result and go to reaction to see the reaction so this part for example in node 1 the vertical the horizontal reaction is zero the vertical reaction is 45 kilonewton and in the other side node 2 this one again the horizontal will be zero and the vertical reaction will be 45 
in this part uh, it shows you the load cases or the information about the applied load in our case we only have one case and it's dead load and uh, here you can see some of the information and this is the end of today's video i hope the video was useful and in case you like the video please subscribe to our channel see you in the next video